Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of MLB 14 The Show. Road to the show to be exact. Okay, here we go boys. Let's do this. All right, let's start. Whoa. Dude. Foul. Come on, we need a good hit. That was shit. There we go. There we go. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> MLB the show's coverage of minor whatever ball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor leagues tonight it's the third of this four game weekend series between the San Antonio missions and their Texas neighbors to the west the Midland Rockhounds good stuff boys we'll get his first shot here a couple of hits in four trips last night Slider is swung on and grounded towards short. And that's through for a base hit. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Boy, he comes through with a All right. two out, two strike RBI. That's a real confidence builder right there. And conversely, that's very deflating if you're out there on the mound. Mitchell McDonald will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. Good stuff, boys. Marty Oliver will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. 1-0. That's by him for strike one. Come on, boys. A little bit outside, two and one. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. <sighs> two and two offering. Full count now. Come on. Three and two. And now this is all about minimizing damage out there on the mound. He's got to regroup, and he's got to do it quick, or this game will get away from him. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Lance Leahy will dig in here with a chance early on to give his pitcher a little cushion to work with. Now a ball lined to the right side. That's in there, base hit. And they won't push Good stuff, here. boys. The second runner at third, so they're loaded now with still nobody out. Come on, boys, let's go. 
looking for more as they really try to put this one out of reach early. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Well, right here is where you've got to be smart out there. They've got nowhere to put you, so we probably won't be working the corners. Uh, nowhere to put him here as he falls behind now, 2-0. 2-0, bases loaded. Why is he even... Oh, this is a run producer's dream right here. I'd let him go, but only if it's his pitch. Now, meanwhile... This Good stuff, boys. One run scores. The throw to the plate. The tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Well, the runner from third winds up just walking home on the base hit here, but they try to wave the second runner in, and a good throw is going to wind up nailing him at home plate. I'm happy about that one, boys. Good stuff. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch on the ground. Oh, baseline. and this is going to get past him at first. That's a fair ball, and that's going to plate the runner from second. And it's now a seven to one game. You want to put a big smile on the face of your starting pitcher? Give him a six run lead early on and see what you get. He's got to be loving this right now. And I got a feeling they're not done scoring runs for him yet. Marty Oliver is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Now a move over to first, and they've got a man caught in the rundown. So it's one run on two. Juan Spanos will try it again. He Now a changeup, and this is hit on the ground to shortstop. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs, no base hits. Mitchell McDonald will get things started here in the top of inning number six. First offering on the way. Started to go around there. Appeal down to first. Yes, sir, says the first base umpire. Strike one. What the fudge was and that? Swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Here comes a 1-2. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. Pretty good work out of the bull. Good at bat, baby. He got good called in bat. much earlier than I'm sure he expected, but he's given him a real lift so far. Alexis Tejada will try again. Struck out swing. Alexis, really? On the ground to second base, this could be two. Throw on to first. In the <clears throat> Alexis Tejada will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Okay, come on, baby. On the ground is short. Just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. But the damage is done as thanks to the solo home run, this is now a one-run game. Eighth inning coming up. San Antonio. All right, let's do this, boys. will step in. A ground out victim as last time. Mitchell McDonald.
Oh, tried to hold back as this is hit back toward the mound. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Yeah, and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher, especially when he has to barehand the ball. But luckily, he's got plenty of time out there, so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Now a fastball, and it's hit on the ground is short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery's a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Well, I think the key to this play is that he never panicked after he bobbled the ball. So he knows wow. He, he regathers himself and still makes a good, strong throw to get his man. Coach is happy with us. Good Coach stuff. And boys, probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player of the game award. But what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? Yeah, it's nice to have someone like this that you can call on to finish things out.